What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, I am very happy to report that Bitcoin has broken $50,000 just a couple days in a row now. And we're just comfortably sitting now at around 51,200, guys. For me, this confirms higher times, guys. I think we could easily see some much higher times even before the end of the year. Unless the top's here. And guys, we got a lot to talk about. Is the top in or is it not going to be for a while? Guys, you know my theories here, but we're going to definitely go over that today. And guys, there's several other coins I wanted to talk about, including Electronium, which is going down to the descending wedge. Are we going to get a break to the right or are we going to get a pump out of it? Okay, guys, there's plenty of stuff to go over. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to do so. We're making money every single day. And if you just want the added edge and some one-on-one -on -one attention, guys, I do teach for $100 an hour. And I suggest five hours for every new student just so you can replicate what I do. And guys, look at all these amazing comments with people making great money as well. Impressive call on ETN. Your TA is amazing. Well done. Thank you, Dan. Another epic comment right here. Special Forces Navy. Been adding to my ETN for forever. Made some huge purchases last week because of you. I am so thankful I stumbled upon you when I did. Thank you. Then we have John Doe, proud student and happy to be supporting you. You have helped me make some serious gains. Hit this guy up. See for yourselves. I have had over 10 hours at this point, not even making a dent in my gains. You rock, brother. This one's from five days ago. I'm actually blown away right now. I chased your call and I'm still up higher than I've ever been. You're amazing. And guys, I'm making money every single day in leverage trades. These are some epic times in crypto. Be sure to subscribe and like. I'm going to dive right into the price action. Here we go. All right, guys. So basically, this is like the last several weeks of trades here. A lot of just really good reads here going on here. We had a ascending triangle here. Okay, we measured the top of price action, base of price action, broke out, target was hit. Okay, then a new formation started to form, a new pattern. Okay, that's what this circle means right here. But right here, you couldn't tell anything. This was unreadable yet. For instance, not enough to go off of. So for instance, once we had this second touch, we could have just started a line. So for instance, when I first drew this, it was a little tighter because I didn't know exactly where these lines would be, you know? And then once I started to get a little bit to go off of, it started to go there. And then once I got the second touch there, and lo and behold, that is what ended up being the trend. Now, we did have several supports here, which ended up getting broken. But then once we got towards the bottom wedge, that would have been an excellent opportunity for your long, especially once we bounced off the support and the trend. So for instance, if you took that long, even just up to the top of the wedge, that's 6%. But if you held to the target all the way up here, that's 11.9%. And with 10x leverage, guys, that's over 110%, guys. So congratulations to whoever took that trade. And guys, here was the target measured from the back of the wedge, okay, from the breakout point. And guys, as you can see, right there to there, we touched it. Got a little stomped out by this resistance box here, but in general, we nailed it. And then again, a same kind of mimicking formation right here and here. You see that, okay? Two descending wedges starting to form. So again, same situation. I didn't know exactly where this wedge was. This one actually drew pretty pretty spot on actually for not even knowing exactly where it would turn out. But once we got two touches here, I drew this line and lo and behold, it turned into another wedge guys. And a lot of people ask me, you know, how can you just see this guys? I've been looking at this for so many years. It's like reading a book to me. And the more you practice, the more you polish your skills, the more you're going to start to just see these things jumping out at you. Okay. So for instance, same target, same thing, same as how we measure from back here. We're measuring right here, the base of the wedge, so top of price action to base of price action in the beginning of the wedge. Measured from the breakout. Target hit, guys. I already have these circles drawn because I was going over students yesterday, but in general, guys, that is what's going on right there. Move over even further. Nothing really to read here quite yet. Okay, so I was being very patient. But I did notice an EMA crossing. Okay, and then Guys, something I'm always talking about is the EMA Polar Extremes, the EMA 20 and the EMA 55. These are great for short-term scalping trades, okay? And you can get them through the uh, the templates, basically, and go down to the MA Exponential Ribbon times 8, and then turn off everything but the 20 and the 55, and it gives you the polar opposites. 
So for instance, I say it's very dangerous to go short these days, but yes, once we got up to the top and you closed your long, you could technically have gone short, okay? Just because of how the pattern is playing out. But again, guys, very dangerous to go short in a bull trend, so I've been leading people towards longs, and there's very obvious reasons for that. For instance, as we started this ascending wedge right here, we did get across. This would have been your opportunity for a good long. I actually took this. And then as soon as we were getting stomped out by resistance, for instance, not working past this resistance box, I closed my position. And lo and behold, I'm talking 15 minutes later, we had a dump. And what's very interesting is if we measured from the back of the back to the breakout, we nailed the target again. So that would have been an easy short as well. But again, very dangerous to short. That was only a 2.7. And as we can see, we've been moving up steadily with higher percentages. So again, guys, very dangerous to be shorting right now. You can get them, but it is harder to get them, especially in these all-time highs. Remember, guys, we are in uncharted waters with Bitcoin and many other coins right now. They're at all-time highs. Many are at all-time highs. So we don't have too many touches to go off, for instance, when forming resistances or supports. You guys have to factor those kind of things when in making your decisions. Anyway. We pumped back up, we noticed the MA's cross, and we got back up into the wedge. We literally wicked off the top of this triangle here, or this wedge, and then formed another sharp descending wedge here. Now those do tend to break to the upside, measured from top to bottom right there, and target also hit, and I would say it would be this little circle right here. And guys, then the what we've been waiting for since you know the 12th has finally happened. We finally broke out of this ascending wedge here with some closures. Okay, so if we go to the hourly, we closed above resistance and above the wedge. Okay, guys, so this is a great sign, okay? And we could be forming something like a flag right here. Okay, it's not super clear to be honest with you guys, but we could be forming something like that, guys. Again, there's not much up here to hold us down. And with more and more volume coming into the market, more and more institutions, more and more just hype happening with Bitcoin, you're going to start to see the price really start to rise, guys. We could easily see 70000 before the end of the year, easily. And honestly, people are talking much higher prices. But I've also heard a lot of talk about, hey, the four-year cycle's a lie. You know, we're going to be topped out at 50 some thousand, and then we're going to start heading down. So guys, there's a lot of talk about what could actually happen. But I think, you know, I'm still bullish. Just like the last several cycles, we ended up, you know, a two to four year bull market and then the other phases kicked in. So I think we will have the same kind of action again. And, you know, guys, we just have to be ready for that kind of thing. OK, so there's a few other coins I'd like to go over today. So let's check out ETN. A lot of my clients invest in ETN and that's a great project, guys. And a lot of you get very scared when we get pullbacks. Okay, so guys, for instance, what we had right up here was a pump all the way up to almost two cents and then a little bit of a pullback. Okay, so you'll notice here the EMA is starting to cross back towards each other and then we started to form a descending wedge. And guys, as you know, I drew this way back here. And, you know, you, as you're always asking me, how do you do it? You know, I just, I've been looking at it for so long, I've learned to read it. Okay, so that's how I form these wedges. I, I predict the price action based off of past price action. You guys know how many wedges we've had. So again, I was hoping for a bounce right here. Okay, that would have kept the trend line that we've been on. But we have another one. This one's a lot more stable, okay? Make that a little bit thicker for you, okay? This one was a hopeful trend line. Like I was drawing this, I'm like, well, that'd be really awesome if it you know, goes there. But, and it would also meet the potential target out of the wedge. But it did not hold. So we are hoping we get a bounce right here. Okay, and then hopefully a pump out of this and a minimal potential target would be right there. And that would be a great sign, especially if say we pump up over this recent price action. That is a good sign. Okay guys, so that's what I'm looking for in Electronium. We do not want to see it break down past this line. If it does, I, guys, I gotta be honest, no matter what happens, I will not be selling. I will be holding strong. Okay guys, like I, I will never sell this coin under a dollar. I don't care what anyone says. I just won't. I understand the infancy stage. I understand what stages we're in. I know where we'll be in five years. And it's going to be much higher than we are now, and that's for sure. So guys, that's what's going on with Electronium. And guys, there's so many other coins going on right now. It's incredible. 
uh, basically just every coin we've invested in is up 200%. And even the recent buys are up anywhere from 30 to 100% recently. And I'm talking, you know, AMP, UMA, REN, AAVE, CRV, ASNX, Storage, Uni, Phil. Man, I bought them all, guys, and they're all sitting up really pretty right now. I can't even believe it. It's, it's just biblical times. And, guys, one more thing to go over, just a quick review on Ethereum. Okay, guys, we did break out of that descending wedge. We did hit that target, guys, as we measured from the back of the wedge. We had the break right there. And, guys, that, that basically perfectly nailed it right there. That's awesome. So, again, that would have been an excellent short opportunity. But, you know, again, not guaranteed that it would play out like that. Now, what's very interesting is it formed, like, almost like what would be, like, another descending wedge, which in turn would hopefully break to the upside. So, for instance, if we just extended this... You know, extended this line out a little further, ignored this price volatility spike. You know, we could be getting some kind of another wedge, in which case, when we get to the bottom of it, measured from back to back, we could get a breakout. Now, since we are breaking out right there, we got to see how that actually plays out. But, guys, it does also look like we could, you know, get back up into this wedge and then hopefully we'll break out to the upside there. That would be really good. But there's actually a lot of talk about Ethereum getting a little bit of chop right now, guys. So be very mindful of that. I do believe, you know, Ethereum is going to still pump up, but there could be a little chop like we're seeing right now. We could end up back down towards this trend line, which would bring us back all the way down towards 1678. And guys, we would still be on trend for higher times, okay? So if we break this trend line, you know, right here, I will start to be a little short-term bearish. But until then, you know, I'm still very bullish on Ethereum as well. And guys, you know, with Bitcoin hitting $50,000, it's a huge milestone. It's very big. And data from Cointelegraph Markets and TradingView show BTC climb over 5% in hours and Tuesday days after BNY. Mellon confirmed that it would store crypto for asset management clients and rumors all swirled around Morgan Stanley. The move put Bitcoin on course to this psychological significant 50,000 mark once again after several days of sideways movement as the tussle between whales emerged. Guys, let's be real. Like I, I put up my board years ago, 2021. What do I have up there? Seven months in, seventy-one thousand dollars. This was a prediction from a long time ago. I, I just put it on my board. For instance, last year I thought we were going to hit 15, and then we ended up in 30 and 40. And man, once I saw that, I put this up. And uh, you know, guys, Simon Peters, for instance, a crypto analyst at multi-investment investment platform, El Toro told Cointelegraph that he forecast Bitcoin hitting 70,000 in 2021. And guys, I totally agree with the guy. Okay, I 100% I agree that is going to happen. I'm My bags are packed, I'm ready to go. You know, I'm out of cash to invest at this point. I'm, I'm very low on cash at this point. I'm heavily invested. And thank God I did, because it's changed my life, guys. It's been, it's been epic for me. So I, I hope I took as many of you guys with me as I could. I've said it in many, many videos. I just want you guys to ride my coattails. I don't put this stuff out for you guys unless I'm doing it myself. And then Simon also quoted, Bitcoin and its peers are quite simply going to be part of the mainstream financial universe sooner rather than later. I expect the demand to surge and see Bitcoin prices hitting at least 70000 by the end of the year. Okay, guys. So that's just some biblical times in cryptocurrency. I really see this happening. And guys, it's just exciting just from being involved in this you know, crypto space for so long seeing it really play out in the best of ways and guys there's so much more to come you know with with everything lining up remember i always talk about everything has to line up everything is lining up that's why we're seeing higher prices it was institutions getting involved which pushed the price up to forty thousand, and now it's more institutions getting involved which is going to continue to push the price up way past fifty thousand. i think we'll see sixty thousand, maybe even before the end of the month i know it's a pretty bold statement guys but just with all this, you know, projection, all the, you know, the way the charts are looking, how much, you know, pump we're getting each time with how little of a pullback. Guys, I think we're going to keep moving up. And it's just very exciting times. And guys, if you don't know how to trade or you don't know how to navigate these fields, guys, remember, I do teach, you know, for $100 an hour and I do suggest five hours minimally. Uh, I'll be very real with you guys. You can't expect to jump in for an hour or just two hours and learn what I do. Yeah, it, It's not realistic, you know, so you, it, plan for five hours. 
you know, minimally. You know, I've had people go way over that and not because they need it, but just because they're happy to keep talking to me. They're making good gains. Sometimes they just want to ask me about what I'm looking at or where I'm hoping to get in, stuff like that. And, and understand that stuff, guys. Uh, you know, I'm really crushing it. So that's why people are asking me for information. They're asking for help. They're reaching out. And yes, there's there's a lot of students, like for instance, I, I got a huge influx of students within the last few weeks, a lot of people just starting out. And guys, that's excellent. You just made the choice to teach yourself financial freedom. And guys, I'm gonna teach it to you. You will see, you will see how to read these charts. You know, you're you're already I feel like a lot of the first timers yesterday already grasped a lot of very good things. And uh, one other thing, guys, just make sure your equipment is up to par. I send this out in the email, but you know, test it out with a friend. Test it out with a buddy. Make sure your mic, your camera, everything's working nicely. The, the equipment that we're forced to use in these pandemic times is already crappy enough. So you want to make sure it's optimal, at least working, you know, because it will have its own faults. So, but anyway, guys, we're all having a blast. You know, there's lots of good times to come in cryptocurrency. And with leverage trades, you can really squeeze gains out just about anywhere. And I will be doing uh, instructional videos on Bybit very soon. I'm going to be making one on TradingView, hopefully within the week. A lot of students are requesting this guy, so I'm definitely going to put that up for you guys as soon as I can. And, you know, Electroium is just going to continue to blow you guys away. And there's just such epic times ahead, guys. So, you know, if your bags aren't packed, it's not, you know, it's not too late. Get involved in cryptocurrency. You could still see some massive gains before the end of the year, just about on most coins. But, uh, guys, again, that's all the time I have for today. Be sure to subscribe and like. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.